From UFOs to ghosts and psychic powers, history is riddled with unexplained events. You can turn back now or learn the stuff they don't want you to know. Here are the facts. Nikola Tesla was born in 1856 in present-day Croatia. He spent his childhood fascinated by math and engineering. At the age of 24, he invented the induction motor. Four years later, he traveled to New York to interview with his hero, Thomas Edison. This meeting did not go well, but Edison still hired Tesla. After a few months, Tesla resigned in disgust and left to work on his system of alternating current. Ten years later, Tesla passed away impoverished in a seedy New York hotel room. After he died, the U.S. government confiscated his possessions. His notes were held by the Office of Alien Papers and eventually shipped to Yugoslavia. Or were they? We know Tesla attempted to create death rays, wireless energy, and powerful gyroscopes. But there's one thing we don't know. What was in those notes? Here's where it gets crazy. Thousands of people believe the U.S. government suppressed Tesla's technology. Take the story of the Tesla Oscillator, a small device that can allegedly simulate earthquakes. Consider also the death ray. In an interview with the New York Times, Tesla stated he'd invented a giant death beam that would end war because it was simply too easy for countries to destroy each other. But his strangest alleged invention was a worldwide free electricity system. With funding from J.P. Morgan, Tesla built a gigantic tower in Shoreham, New York and named it Wardenclyffe. J.P. Morgan hoped the Wardenclyffe Tower could provide wireless communication across the world. However, Tesla had other plans. The inventor reportedly wanted to build an energy system that used Earth as a conductor. If the project worked, anyone could have electricity by simply sticking a rod into the ground. Unfortunately, free electricity is not profitable. And this system could be incredibly dangerous for the global elite because it could profoundly change the energy industry. Imagine how different the world would be if society didn't need oil or coal to function. Could the current world powers maintain control? Many historians believe Westinghouse and Morgan refused to continue to fund the Wardenclyffe project because they grew tired of the great expense. But what if they banded together to blackball Tesla? Financially, it makes sense. The mark of most great inventions is that they fundamentally change the society in which they exist. And the people at the top of the social structure have more to gain by reinforcing the status quo. But Tesla's technology didn't necessarily disappear. Some theorists believe the government continues to use Tesla's research in places like the HARP facility of Alaska. HARP stands for High Frequency Active Auroral Research Program. Officially, this program investigates ionospheric phenomena, and the government claims it is purely for research. There's no way to know for sure what Tesla's notes contained, and if the US government really has used Tesla's designs, they've done a wonderful job hiding their tracks. Both skeptics and conspiracy theorists agree that the US government held Tesla's notes before eventually sending them back to Europe. But what happened in between? We may never know. We do know that the US has top secret experimental compounds throughout the world and the U.S. has a history of secretly developing technology before revealing it to the public. Yet Nikola Tesla remains an enigma. He believed in extraterrestrials, wireless energy, and dozens of other things yet to be proven to mainstream science. His beliefs were ridiculed as often as they were applauded, and the beliefs of these conspiracy theorists are also often ridiculed. The story seems based on anecdotes and rumors. The operation at HARP is classified, so we may never know what the scientists are doing. Yet we'll also never be able to know exactly what Tesla was up to either. As the rumors surrounding HARP and Area 51 grow, conspiracy theorists ask, are these mysteries related? Did the government really return all of Tesla's notes? Or did these notes contain something they don't want you to know? <laughs>